There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. One concept and result of research, I believe in says, reduce salt intake and it helps in reducing the high blood pressure to normal ranges. Please note, I have mentioned that it helps in reducing high blood pressures. It's proven beyond doubt that sodium has a role in hypertension. Logically, eating less salt should help in reducing high blood pressures. If you ask me in how many days would you notice blood pressure changes after salt intake restriction? then I have no fixed number of days as an answer. I have seen that it has helped my patients, and there are scientific research to back that up. In some tribal populations who have never used salt in their diets for generations, have no hypertension, just proving addition of salt could be a reason for high blood pressure. And this is not a traditional belief anymore. One concept and result of research, I believe in says, Reduce salt intake and it helps in reducing the high blood pressure to normal ranges. Please note, I have mentioned that it helps in reducing high blood pressures. It's proven beyond doubt that sodium has a role in hypertension. Logically, eating less salt should help in reducing high blood pressures. If you ask me in how many days would you notice blood pressure changes after salt intake restriction, then I have no fixed number of days as an answer. I have seen that it has helped my patients. And there are scientific research to back that up. In some tribal populations who have never used salt in their diets for generations, have no hypertension. Just proving addition of salt could be a reason for high blood pressure. And this is not a traditional belief anymore. Well, decreasing salt in diet is one of the things one can do when trying to manage high blood pressure with lifestyle modifications. However, this is one of the least beneficial things to do. It has so little benefit that many are now skipping it. For instance, exercising is the best lifestyle modification one can do to control blood pressure. And the next on the line is having a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. This had an acronym I forgot. So basically eating fruits and veggies will help control your blood pressure more than cutting down on salt. So yeah, it is true that salt won't be that much of a help. Just to be clear, I'm talking about essential hypertension aka the hypertension one gets with age. I'm not talking about secondary hypertension due to some endocrine dysfunction for example, where salt might have a more significant role to play. Well decreasing salt in diet is one of the things one can do when trying to manage high blood pressure with lifestyle modifications. However, this is one of the least beneficial things to do. It has so little benefit that many are now skipping it. For instance, exercising is the best lifestyle modification one can do to control blood pressure. And the next on the line is having a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. This had an acronym I forgot. So basically eating fruits and veggies will help control your blood pressure more than cutting down on salt. So yeah, it is true that salt won't be that much of a help. Just to be clear, I'm talking about essential hypertension aka the hypertension 1 gets with age. I'm not talking about secondary hypertension due to some endocrine dysfunction for example, where salt might have a more significant role to play. Not true, but the effect isn't as large as many have though. See does sodium restriction lower blood pressure? The hypotensive effect of sodium restriction was found to be small and restricted, largely to systolic blood pressure, which fell by an average of 3.6 mHg range 0.5 to 10.0 mhg. Some are sodium sensitive, In those blood pressure will fall more on a moderately sodium, in salt, restricted diet. A lower blood pressure doesn't always equate to less deaths. Optimal systolic blood pressure would be 120,124 mm hg. Diastolic blood pressure should sink below 70 mm hg since the heart muscle is only perfused by fresh oxygen containing blood during diastole. During systole the coronaries are squeezed shut by the contracting muscles. Thus too low a diastolic pressure causes insufficient perfusion pressure, thus less oxygen for the heart muscle. See achieved blood pressure and cardiovascular outcomes in high-risk patients. Results from on-target and transcend trials. Not true, but the effect isn't as large as many have though. See does sodium restriction lower blood pressure? 
the hypotensive effect of sodium restriction was found to be small and restricted, largely to systolic blood pressure, which fell by an average of 3.6 mHg, range 0.5 to 10.0 mHg. Some are sodium sensitive. In those blood pressure will fall more on a moderately sodium, in salt, restricted diet. A lower blood pressure doesn't always equate to less deaths. Optimal systolic blood pressure would be 120,124 mm Hg. Diastolic blood pressure should sink below 70 mm Hg since the heart muscle is only perfused by fresh oxygen containing blood during diastole. During systole the coronaries are squeezed shut by the contracting muscles. Thus too low a diastolic pressure causes insufficient perfusion pressure. Thus less oxygen for the heart muscle. See Achieved Blood Pressure and Cardiovascular Outcomes in High-Risk Patients. Results from on-target and transcend trials. More about a healthy blood pressure diet. Eating less salt is just one part of eating a healthy blood pressure diet. There are a number of others that will help to lower your risk of heart attack and stroke. Eat more fruit and vegetables to lower blood pressure. This is not something you want to take the chance with. Checking out the video should help you might want to check this out as well. Blood pressure exercises vs LCB.